This is a response video to Jessica, who was brave enough to share her story and who encouraged me to do this video explaining superposition and how I think that I can prove that the Mandela effect is really us witnessing quantum level behavior of matter in our physical world. It shouldn't be here, it shouldn't be happening, but it is. So what superposition is, is being something or someone being two or more places at the same time. And Schrodinger's cat is often used to describe um, quantum superposition, but it is supposed to illustrate, well, first I don't like it because it's a cat in a box and the box has radioactive acid in it. And the cat is supposed to be alive and dead, and neither alive nor dead at the same time, all at once. And that's what Schrodinger's cat is supposed to illustrate, that the cat, until somebody opens the box and the observer is brought into play, in the quantum world, the cat would be all states at once. That used to be how it worked in the quantum world, and Schrodinger's cat was an idea to explain how very differently the quantum behavior of matter was with our world. However, <laughs> the rules have been broken. Um, we are starting to see quantum behavior of matter in our own universe, in, our, in this realm. And they're not really the best words to describe it. We use the words reality changing, we use the word, but it, essentially it can be explained with quantum behavior of matter. So I'm going to try to do that, um, and I'm going to talk about superposition. If it was possible to observe somebody experiencing superposition, they would, then you would see them doing a million things, like you would see a million thems, <laughs> a million of the same person doing a bunch of different things, and you would see them in the moment, like you see here with this girl, she's doing a somersault on the bed, she's doing, she's jumping on the bed, she's falling off the bed, but she's also invisible, so she's not doing any of those things also. That is a perfect representation of if you could look at superposition. And I've actually experienced superposition um, during the week that I was telling everyone about the Mandela Effect, and it was pretty traumatic for me, so um, I, you know, cried a lot. But I noticed, I kept hearing the same thing. I kept hearing somebody crying around me all week. And it was very strange, but it sounded, I could tell it was the same person. I could tell it was the same tone, and it was the same level of anxiety or upsetness. <laughs> and it, I verified with my friends, they heard it too. Um, they, they would think it was their neighbor or something and it definitely wasn't. I know it wasn't because when I found out what it was, it was even more freaky, but also comforting. I, I realized about the end of the week when I found out that turmeric is now turmeric, I got upset and was kind of freaking out and then I realized I sounded exactly like what I've been hearing. And I, ha I didn't hear it after that time. It was a very sobering experience because I was hearing myself at different times telling people about the Mandela effect. And at slightly different times, I had told them slightly different things and I had been upset at slightly different moments. So that was really what got me into looking at quantum physics. So basically, Schrodinger's cat no longer applies because it explains the difference between how the quantum world works and how our world works. And that is no longer a separate thing because experiencing the Mandela effect means you have noticed 
a quantum shift in something that happened to you or a place or a time. And, and what you notice about it is that it's changed. And that's an example of how it, particles and waves behave. To understand what I'm talking about, it's a really good idea to look at the double slit experiment, which was in the 1920s, um, Einstein and Bohr and Heisenberg and Schrodinger came later, I think, all uh, learned that matter is conscious. And when it's observed, when particles are observed, they act like particles because they know they're being observed. So they do what we expect them to. But when they are not observed, they act like waves. And that's very different than a particle because waves, think of a rock being thrown in a pond. The rock is going to make waves and they're going to extend outwards until they hit something. Now, when the wave hits something, it's called a wave function collapse or a wave form collapse. To illustrate this, let's think of a turtle popping his head out above the surface of the water, which the wave hits the turtle's head and that collapses the wave function right there at that point. So to illustrate superposition, the turtle would have to surface at a different time in a different place and collapse the waveform at a different location and time. So when we experience the Mandela effect, it's like we're seeing the turtle or we even are the turtle experiencing the superposition of either ourselves or our surroundings. And it's pretty trippy, <laughs> but that's what it is. It's explainable by quantum level behavior, but scientists have not come around to telling us that because, well, to be quite honest, the mainstream media is owned by corporations and, well, frankly, everyone hasn't seen the Mandela effect. They haven't experienced it themselves. So until people start seeing the Mandela effect, and I'm talking, it has to be really person, personal to shake you to your core. And until people start experiencing that being shook, as the, as the kids these days say, then they're not going to understand that nature has been tampered with. And Things are no longer the same. We need to redefine reality because reality is changing before our very eyes and it needs a new definition because this is going to keep getting weirder. Whatever has happened, and I have my ideas about that, but that's, in a, that's for a different video. Whatever has happened has set the natural balance of nature out of sync. And it is going to continue to fall out of sync. And those of us who notice are the ones who are strong enough to face what is real. And that means getting past a lot of the illusion that other people, I'm not sure they're human, but other people have enforced upon the human race for years and years. And I'm talking about our system of government, our system of education. All of this is, is conditioning for us to not be able to understand what our bodies are capable of, what our minds, what our spirits are capable of. We're all connected and we're connected via quantum entanglement. It's actually easy to explain, but again, that's another video. So I'll end by saying this. It's a good time to 
connect or reconnect with God because God is love and we all have a soul. I think we can all agree on that. But what things are moving towards are not good. They're unnatural. And because we're seeing these events happen and it's deeply unsettling, we know that it's unnatural and we know that can't end well. So I urge everybody to stay positive, share information, make observations, um, check out Jessica's video. You have to turn the volume up, but it's totally worth it. It's a great experience, very eye opening. And um, thank you for watching. And please talk to God. He would love to hear from you. Okay? God bless everybody. Thanks.